You, you doing this? You said you was doing it. I'm oh, I did say I was doing this. You come up with. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is your boy, Chris. And Team Peace, Calvin. Your Same boy, person. Team Peace. Um, we're here with Team APS. And, uh, you know, we posted a question on Facebook, you know, asking you guys what you want to know about us or what you want us to answer. Um, so we got my guy Paul behind the camera over here. He's a moderator. Paul is our moderator. And Paul's going to ask us these questions. We're going to answer them live. Uh, we just picked a few of them, the ones that we like, the ones we think we can give you some good, nice answers with. And uh, we're going to have some fun. So uh, let's get started. Your first deck. First deck you ever played. You go first. First deck I, okay, first deck I ever played was that blue eye structure deck, the Kaibo deck. The That's structure of the starter. The starter. The back, back, way back. What was that? Like, oh, so two? So the starter. Yeah, the starter. That's the first thing I actually played. Now, the first thing I actually built and played was just this a regular fiend deck. Just a bunch of fiend ones. This one, like, Dark, Dark Ruler Hades was big. Uh, what was his name? He had 1,800 attack, 1,700 defense. I can't, I can't think of it. It, it's, it's, it was a normal monster. But those stats were just crazy. Like 1800 takes 17 defense for a normal monster, so I just put the fiend deck and I kind of ran with it. Octoclops, that's the name of it, Octoclops. Well, my first deck, um, I'm like you, I started off with a, um, actually, a sh um, the starter deck. It wasn't the Kai, but the Yugi. I begged my mom to buy me the Yugi one, she would not buy it, she wasn't with it. So, like, I ended up saving my own money and I bought the Joey starter deck when it came out. I think I might have started a little later than everybody else, but. I bought that and I had that, but that wasn't the first deck I built. The first deck I built was, I think it was like, it was Mystic Swordsman. And I, I saw the, I actually saw the deck list in a Yu-Gi-Oh magazine that I think Upper Deck used to make. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they used to make that magazine, but I saw the deck that I was like, this shit looks tight. So I bought it, um, I bought the magazine and I like started collecting the cards in the deck. And I built that, it was fun. Like, Mystic Swordsman, I used to like play three Sukuyome, like flip my opponent monster face down and attack it, send it to the top of the deck. It was amazing. I thought it was tight. It wasn't that good, but it was tight to me. So, I, I won some pretty good games with it also, man. So, I liked it. What do you think could be done to give ritual monsters a buff? My idea would be to put them into the extra deck. You a moderator, we don't want to hear from you. That was my idea question. would be to put them in the extra deck. <laughs> My idea also is to put them in an extra deck. I mean, come on, guys. Like, just be real. It sounds so scripted. But, dude, like, just be real. Why extra, why, why are ritual monsters in the deck? I, I can understand once they actually have them. effects, like like Necroz. Like, they made that archetype right. That That's like the right ritual archetype. They need to make more stuff like but that in order for it to be good. But effects. if you're going to make all of them ass, you might as well just put them in an extra deck and... That way it doesn't count towards your deck limit because it's other so you you would yeah. rather put in them as far as those ritual monsters. So unless you make it the cross, like don't make rituals. It's unless ass you put them trash. In the don't do it. Like just make them synchros and put that shit in the extra deck. What is your favorite two card combo and what field does it make? Ooh 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 ooh! My favorite two card combo: um, insect berry and DNA surgery. It doesn't make a field. It just turns your monster insects and they can't do shit. It's great. My favorite two card combo has to be um, Wind Up Magician Shark. Magician and Shark. Uh, broken, helmet. broken. It makes a lot of different boards. One, the one that it made that was the greatest was the one we had Shockmaster and Shockmaster was the shit. Um, nobody can mess up that field. You are, Pretty much it was auto win. You know. You have to know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. It wasn't a Hellman deck, contrary to what he believes. What do you think about people's closed-mindedness concerning Link monsters and Link format? Open your fucking mind. What I think about is that we had the same conversation every time a new summoning mechanic comes out. Just get used to it. They're going to want to progress the game and shit, so we're going to keep on getting them. We're going to keep saying it's dead when it comes out. We're going to keep on getting them. It's just something that's that. Just, just, you, you know it's going to come eventually. What he said. Your first tournament, what was the experience? Oh, first tournament. We went to our first tournament together. As a matter of fact, that's when we met Paul, the moderator. We found, I found him on YouTube some kind of weird. That wasn't my first tournament, bro. 
Oh, I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about when we. No. Okay. That wasn't my first time. You got to understand. I played Yu-Gi-Oh. I quit for like six, seven years. Yeah, and I started back same playing. Same thing. We started back playing. Once when I started cool. back playing, that's how I met Paul. When I first started playing, I went to this store called Legends. Then I started going to me in. But um, my first tournament, I traded. My my very first tournament, I will never forget. I traded a Game Boy Color, well, a Game Boy SP for all five pieces of Exodia. That's what I did. My, it's my, crazy because my, my very first tournament, I went and I was just like blown away by the shit that goes on. Like it was a kid that had a deck this tall. Like that was like oh. jank, that was like jank Yu Gi Oh. It's That's crazy. From books of me. No, it's another crazy story about that because I actually think I met him like back Close then, time. but I, I didn't know him then. I ain't know him till like later. That's the crazy part about it. But that was like my first, like my first real tournament when I actually started playing like competitively. That's when we had first met Paul. We found out about his channel, yeah. and we all got cool after that. But it, it was it was kind of what I expected. I expected some tryhards, and it was. But everybody that was pretty cool. I'm friends with most of them now, so it worked out for the best. How often have you been to a tournament and had to deal with people with grubby hands or the smell bad? I don't really shake too many people's hands when I, I mean, I'll see people that's like fans of the channel, they might hug us, but I mean, I don't think any of them have ever smelled. For the most, most part, time. you just pound people, like, yeah, like, yeah. Paul, pound people, like fist bump, that type of stuff. Somebody touched your face. Once. Yeah, that was weird, but I, You let somebody touch your face? Man, I, Boy, I wish they would. <laughs> It was a one time thing. Don't touch my face at no more events. But mm -hmm. it was a one time nope. thing. Ain't gonna have it. But yeah, I am. we haven't. Really the the whole grubby it. hands thing. Man, look, we made like three videos about this already. I hate to say we made three because there's only one. Man, just wash your damn hands. Sanitizer. Put some deodorant on. I need a penalizer. Clean like sanitizer. Like, Fabian talks about it. Just do that, man. We done made it. I'm a big dude, so I got to. I ain't gonna lie. Like, we we ought to stay fresh. How is it than Yu Gi Oh? Sneakers. Yes. We just got back from a sneaker con. That's actually why we couldn't go to, what was that? National. Uh, yeah, National. National, yeah. Sneaker con was in Dallas the same weekend, so we ended up on that. That's hey. like the fifth event I've been to. We definitely collect a lot of shoes. Um, my other hobbies besides shoes, I'm really into being in a boys club, so I guess you could say clothes, fashion, stuff like that. It's so, all the same thing, yeah. like clothes, but Once you get out of clothes shoes. and fashion, I want to say video games, but not really. I only play like three games. He plays more games. I play a lot of. I play a lot of it. Like I don't know. Like I'm one of those people where it's like I like to make the most out of 24 hours. So like I play games. Like I'm I'm researching on the net, just all kinds of weird, crazy stuff. Stuff that I can learn from. I'm buying sneakers. I'm talking to girls. Um, I'm just doing I'm, a I'm lot of fun stuff. Hard. But like my like you know my main likes. I love Supreme. Supreme is like tight. Um, it's all about, you see this. I like right? Adidas, I like cool. Yeezy, about all types of stuff. I'm one of those guys, but I'm not obnoxious like most of them. Um, but I like to have fun. Yu-Gi-Oh is just a real good hobby. I've been into it most of my life, so that's kind of one of my main ones. What are two decks that don't have synergy, but you wish they would and you could play them together? I would have to say Gladiator Beast and UA. I'm just saying that because I know they don't go together and I want them to go together so I can say I created that. But yeah, I like punching people and doing cool stuff with cool effects Ooh, um, and running from them. I don't, but I don't like stealing on people. I want to say <laughs> something with like Crystal Beast and Gym Knights. Yeah. Just because they all rock. No oh, that was the... Are you guys so awesome? And have you guys tried Vanguard? That's one question. That's one question. Um, I'm Is so that awesome. That's really one question? I'm so awesome because Paul allows me to be awesome. For the longest, um, he wanted me to be sheltered and normal and boring. and He wouldn't let me do shit, actually. He wanted me to be in videos. Told me I couldn't curse. I couldn't act out. I couldn't do weird shit. I couldn't wear weird shit. I couldn't be me. He wanted to put me in this little ass box. What's the word? What he wanted to do? He tried to marginalize me. He tried to marginalize me. So I didn't want to be in videos. But now I'm awesome because 
How allows me to be awesome? I don't know, man. How was hard? This awesome thing didn't come along until three years back, you know. I just found some newfound popularity in the world, you know. A lot of people started messing with me. Like, the girls started talking to me. Oh, we love the baddies. Like, you know, I don't know. I'm just cool. I like people. And I'm genuine. I, like, I, try, I try to be genuine. I try to, you know, be cool with everybody I meet. I try to accept everybody I meet because everybody don't come from the same place. It's just me being real now. But I try to just be open. And being open, I think, equals being awesome. Cause like that means you're just willing to do anything, willing to meet anybody. So that's you one like reason Vanguard. why I'm awesome. And um, do I like Vanguard? Hey, I love uh, Vanguard. Can you? Uh, we don't need you to be a real moderator. <laughs> Let us talk. See, there you go. You trying to box us in and shit. Like you play? We play I've never played Vanguard. I've seen the chorus a few times. I've never played. I don't think I have an interest to play though. I like Vanguard. Uh, I played it. Not enough people played it around me. So I didn't really get into it too much, but I like it. I like the whole mechanic. The cars look awesome. Great art design. Um, the show was actually pretty good too, from my understanding. I, didn't I watched a little bit of show. anime, but you know, Vanguard's pretty cool. But back to you, Nadeska. That's all the questions. That's it? That's all y'all sent, man. Real? That's really all y'all sent. I feel betrayed. But if you like this video, I need you to go down to the comment section, comment, Give us some more questions, because we might do it again with the twins, or Trail, or even the man Paul himself. I might moderate. I got a little moderate. Calvin might moderate. You don't want, you don't you don't want me to moderate. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I ain't saying shit. Go down to the comment section. Leave some questions. You know, like, subscribe, and that's about it, man. You've been watching um, Team APS, and uh, we out. Peace.